In this video, I discuss comparison of disc and drum types of brake. So left side I mentioned the point of disc brake and right side I mentioned the points of drum brake. Here you see this is the diagram of disc brake. In a disc brake, we use the disc and it is mounted with the wheel hub. Here the drum is used and inside the drums, the various mechanisms are that so it is called as the drum brake. So first point is related with the friction surface. So in a disc brake, the friction surface are directly exposed to atmosphere cool air. Means the friction pad. So here in this diagram, you see this friction pad are directly open to the atmosphere. So they are easily cool by using the atmospheric air. In a drum brake, the friction surface are not directly exposed to the atmosphere. Means the frictional surface means this friction linings are inside the drums so they are not directly connected with the atmosphere that's why the cooling of friction surface is less effective second point this brake weight is less means weight of the disc brake is less and the weight of drum brake is more compared to the disc brake third point it is very easy to replace the friction pad when required so these friction pad are easily replaced because they are open to the atmosphere and we are able to easily replace it but the brake lining so here this friction lining is also called as the brake lining brake lining have to be either riveted or fixed with adhesive to brake shoe means this brake lining is riveted with this brake shoe or either they are stick by using the adhesive so it is difficult and we also need to open the drum means we always require to remove the wheels then after open the drums and then after we are able to change the friction linings or replace the friction linings but in a disc brake the friction pad are open to the atmosphere so we can easily replace the friction pads in a disc brake its designs and construction are simple drum brake they are not so simple in designs and constructions before moving ahead to other points, I request to like the video and subscribe my channels. For watching the more video related to basic mechanical engineering or elements of mechanical engineering subjects. For more video of BME or EME subject, various link is provided in descriptions as well as in car. For other subject, I request to visit the playlist. Next comparison is on the basis of water recovery. So in a disc break. The water recovery have better means when the brake are come in a contact, okay, so they are easily recovers because it is open to atmospheres. In a drum brake, when operated in a wet conditions, means in a rainy seasons, it is called as the wet conditions. The water gets into the brake shoe and causing the lining to lose frictional contact. So due to the water, the friction contact is lost and the brake do not work until the they recover means. When the water is not recovers to that, the brake is not working properly. This brake have self adjusting ability. In a drum brake, the drum brake either require manuals or automatic brake adjustments. Next point in a disc brake, these have poor parking brake performance means as a parking brake we are not able to use the disc brake properly. In a drum brake, the drum brake make excellent parking means uh, when we put the car we use the handbrake so as a handbrake we are use the internal expansion brake or a drum brake okay so it gives the best results compared to the disc brake initial cost of the disc brake is high and in a drum brake initial cost is less means starting cost purchasing cost of the disc brake is high and the purchasing cost of the drum brake is low. The frictional area of pad is very less. Means compared to the disc, here this friction area means the area of the pad is very less. And in a drum brake, here you see the friction area are very high. Means contact area between the friction pad and the disc. In a drum brake, the contact area between the friction linings and the drums. So here you see there is a very small area is there. In a drum brake area is larger. So the frictional area of the shoe is about four times of the disc brake. So here you can easily compare. The area is four or five times 
higher than this area of the disc brake. Therefore, the pressure intensity required is less. Means in a drum brake, the pressure intensity required is less. So thank you for watching this video. If you learn something, then like the video and subscribe my channel for watch the more video related to mechanical engineering and don't forget to share with your friends.